Congress has cast a conundrum in Karnataka CM race. Wakkali guys now backing DK Shiv Kumar as the next chief minister. That's uh, a very obvious scenario here. Wakkali guys now wanting DK Shiv Kumar as their chief minister. And it is also a matter of representation. It's going to be very important and significant. Wakkali guys now expressing their support for DK Shiv Kumar. In fact, uh, DK Shiv Kumar is Wakkali guy. He has a strong support of the Wakkali guy community. So far in Karnataka, there's been uh, two big faces within the Wakkaliga community. One is H.D. Kumar Swami and one is uh, D.K. Shiv Kumar. At this point, D.K. Shiv Kumar seems to be the man who is really going to front the Wakkaliga's interests in the state. Let me cut across to Sagai Raj. Sagai, Wakkaliga's wanting D.K. Chief Minister is no surprise. They've got a, a fabulous chance to push their prospects this time. It will be a representation like no other and they're really hoping that the High Command acknowledges this. Tell us a little more about what kind of protests do we see people now lobbying us Outside DK Shiv Kumar's home, showing support for him. There is a huge support of Wakaliga's community behind DK Shukumar. Remember when DK Shukumar was campaigning in old Mysuru region, he had marketed himself as a chief minister candidate, where in one of the rallies he also went on to say that last time it was SM Krishna who was a KPCC president and after Congress got the majority, he became the chief minister. After so many years, you have a chance now. Your son of soil, DK Shukumar, is a KPCC president. Try to strengthen my hand, vote for me. And this was the same thing he has asked for the people in old Mysuru region. And this was his marketing strategy to get the votes of Wakalikas. And definitely the Wakalikas MLA might back him as the next chief minister of Karnataka. All crucial meeting is happening inside in Shangri-La. So we need to wait and watch. How many Wakaliga leaders, how many Wakaliga MLAs gonna back him? How many Lingayat leaders gonna back him? Or it will be a, a one-sided match for Siddharamaya if all these MLAs back him. Remember today he had visited temple, a Lingayat uh, uh, mat in uh, Tumkur and thereafter he also met few Wakaliga MLAs there. It is also, it, the, the Tumkur region also belongs to old Mysuru region and huge number of Wakaligas, Mandia, Hassan. Uh, to a seer, a Wakaliga seer who's spoken uh, right on the lines showing support to DK Shivkumar. It's very important uh, that at this point that the Congress eases uh, the Wakaliga community since they've shown overwhelming support to DK. Let's have a listen. A uh, seer within the Wakaliga matter, prominent face speaking. Is there a demand? Uh, should uh, there is a you know question about who is going to become the chief minister of the uh, you know from the Congress? Uh, do you think DK Shukumar should become the chief minister? Definitely, uh, position for uh, uh, DK Shukumar CM position in the Karnataka government very successful, no problem. Is there a demand? Uh, should uh, there is a you know question about who is going to become the chief minister of the uh, you know from the Congress? Uh, do you think DK Shukumar should become the chief? Minister? Definitely uh, position for uh, uh, DK Shukumar CM position in the Karnataka government. All right, that is Vachananda on DK Shivkumar who says that naturally their uh, allegiance is with DK Shivkumar. He is the Wakaliga face uh, for sure. But that's that's precisely the confusion here. Uh, DK Shivkumar is uh, the front. In, in fact, he represents the Wakaliga community, which is concentrated in some parts of Karnataka, largely the old Mysuru region, etc. But what about the the Kuruba community, the OBC, which Siddharamaya comes, uh, he's, uh, he comes from that community, and OBC is, uh, the Kuruba especially has spread across Karnataka, and which is why Siddharamaya has a mass appeal. He has a, a fan base, a vote base, and, uh, you know, uh, those who support him in different parts of Karnataka, which is why he's known as a mass leader. So it's going to be a Herculean task for the Congress party now to decide uh, on who's exactly going to be the chief minister for Karnataka this time. It's mostly going to be the only decision that will be taken right here at the CLP meeting. So all emotions and sentiments running high. I'm cutting across to our reporters, uh, tracking all the developments here. We also have Anaga Keshav. Anaga, over to you. We see all the leaders streaming in, many of them very guarded with their body language, not willing to divulge uh, details on what are the possible scenarios that will play out right here at the CLP meet. A show of hands, is it going to be a secret ballot vote or are they just going to be passing a resolution today, uh, handing the decision over to the High Command to make that choice of CM? 
you know, we're at a very premature stage here, Nabila. We still have no information, you know, no exact information about what exactly is going to be the mode of deciding the next Mukhya Mantri of Karnataka. Is it going to be secret ballot paper voting or will the MLAs be one-on-one -on -one talking to the political observers who is, you know, who is the former Home Minister of India, Sushil Kumar Shinde, or, um, uh, you know, or will all the MLAs just leave the decision to the high command who is Malikarjun Karge? Still, you know, we have three likely scenarios that could play out. But, you know, what's more interesting is that Siddharth Maya has also declared that this is going to be his last election. So, you know, this you know, this will be the only term that, you know, that he can become the Chief Minister of Karnataka. So given that fact, you know, the MLAs might likely vote for Sidramaya. And given the fact that he's a very tall Kuruba leader, has relentlessly worked for the Congress party, and this might be his last election. So that is the kind of sentimental card that Sidramaya is also banking on. But on the other hand, we cannot take DK, you know, DK Shukumar also lightly, because he was the man on the ground, relentlessly sweating his blood out. He was, you know, he was unwell, he was on drip. Yet he did not give up. He continuously worked bringing the Congress back to power. These two very tall, formidable leaders who cannot be taken lightly. So indeed, the pressure we can only imagine must be huge on Malikarjun Karge as to decide who will be the next Chief Minister of Karnataka. Because remember, both these leaders have a lot of followers even within the Congress party. If one is made as a Chief Minister, then the followers of the other one might be disgruntled. So you know, the next big challenge for Congress will be how to deal with the disgruntlement among the MLAs. No voices, huh? Uh, a few voices, a little more before I get to actual reactions coming in from the from all the MLAs. Yeah, what's your choice of CM? Um, can, we are open for anything. Uh, we are open for anything. You are one of the only ones who said that. <laughs> Meeting here, the Congress itself is in a dilemma. We hope, uh, you know, yeah, but like but you. but but for uh, the party uh, going forward to be in the in the strongest position to uh, overcome the MP election yeah. and the other elections of the state, DK Shukmar has been the powerful leader. Oh, and no, no, let, let me complete like last three years, what uh, party is today from yeah. what it was in 2020. Yeah. It is because of him we are all standing here. All right. uh, we all the he's entire been aggressive. He's, he's really maneuvered the, uh, through uh, the, the toughest of times. D K Shivkumar is also facing several corruption allegations. D despite all of those summons of IT, ED, etc., he's been going back and forth to uh, Delhi and here. He still managed to bring this uh, party to this position today, and everyone here within the Congress party has certainly acknowledged it. Even uh, the, you know the voters at large who have, see, who have seen the Congress party from what it was to what it is today have acknowledged D.K. Shivkumar's efforts undoubtedly. But the question is, will the Congress really compromise on D.K. Shivkumar letting go of the post of KPCC president? Because he is a man who's really built the party as the president of the KPCC. Will he be ma able to manage uh, the presidency of KPCC and Chief Minister's chair. They'll have to pick one. He cannot handle both, and that's where the dilemma lies. I'm going to cut across to Apurva as well, joining us. More on that. Apurva, you've been tracking Sidramaya's movements too. A lot on DK Shivkumar supporters, the Wakaliga community. So it seems like the clash of the titans and the decision making happens today. Nabila, it's important to note that both these leaders are stalwart leaders. They've been known for their work. They've been known for the kind of, uh, you know, efficacy that they've brought for Congress Party, especially here in Karnataka, where, in fact, right outside, uh, you know, D.K. Shivkumar's residence, uh, D.K. Shivkumar had just come back from Tumkuru after he had met with, the, uh, you know, uh, 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 Sears as well, and now he's, in fact, gone inside and is meeting with his internal team. What we do know is from Camp Sidramaya, we do know that uh, Sidramaya is very much intent on becoming uh, the chief ministerial face of Karnataka. In fact, he also, uh, you know, like my colleague Anaga had said, he's also gone on to state that this will be the last elections for him where he will be contesting in the uh, Karnataka elections. He will actively remain in politics, but he will not con contest again. But on the other side, we've seen how D.K. Shivkumar time and again has brought the uh, face of Congress. Uh, he has been the face of Congress and brought back Congress uh, here in Karnataka as well. That's what several people who have gathered have also stated. In fact, uh, you know, several posters have also been put up there. Uh, you know, which uh, we can see uh, all of these supporters and leaders who have gathered here for uh, D.K. Shivkumar. It's clear by the number of people who have gathered, uh, you know, witnessing that this, this is the kind of strength, this is the kind of public and the uh, cadre's attention that he has gathered over the last couple of years, uh, that he has been tirelessly working for the Congress here in Karnataka. Two major leaders there who are uh, the face of Karnataka, 